You can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel on Excel VBA on Access Access VBA and VB script tips let us simulate the following situation we have a sample of 100 cases and we know that in the population there is a 5% sickness so how many sick cases will we find in that sample of 100 a minimum of 2 and a maximum of 9 if we accept a 95% confidence that means there is a 5% chance that we are find less than 2 or more than 9 and we do the same for 10% in the population, 15%, etc. How do we calculate these numbers? We use the function binom inverse. Binom inverse says what is your number of trials? B1, sample size 100. And we lock that with F4 so it doesn't change when we copy the formula downward. What is the probability? 5% of sick cases if that's what is in the population. And what is my alpha chance left tailed? 1 minus 95%. And a similar situation for the maximum number of cases. Again, the same function binom inverse. Exactly the same, except for the alpha chance is, is times B2, 95%. And when I copy that formula downwards, I will get the following results. I could also look at this situation differently and say, what is the probability that I find up to 25 cases of sick people in my sample of 100? If there is 5% sick in the population, these will be the results. So if there is a 25% in the population, I, ha I find up to 25 cases with a probability of 44%. And of course, at the end, it will be 100%. How did we calculate that? In this case, we need the binom dist function. It says, what is the number you are checking for? 25 in G1, absolute. How many trials? 100 in a sample size of 100. The probability is 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. And I make it cumulative because I'm a a asking how many will I find up to 25 cases, not exactly 25 cases. Uh, in case I get a wrong answer, I put all of this is in, in an if error function. If 1 minus the binomial value gives me an error, then I put nothing in that cell. Why did I do an F if error situation? Because I want to make sure that uh, I don't have too many sick cases if the sample size is 100 I cannot have 125 cases I would get an error message so make sure that in your formula you actually say 1 minus the binom dist function and place that inside an if error function in order to get no errors when we go beyond our limits so how can I make this a simulation? By adding controls, simulation controls. I will not discuss in this video how you do that. If you want, you want to know how to do that, you have to look at my book Excel Simulations or Excel for Scientists, the CD, or the book Excel for Scientists. It tells you exactly how to make those controls. You find them at genesispc.com. Once you know how to make those controls, they allow you to do fantastic work. 
I can move that sample size down or up. Let's say I only work with samples of 50. Then these are my results. Minimum cases, maximum cases. If I have 25 six case, sick cases, then my percentages will be this way. If I bring that down, the more I bring it down, the higher the probability values will be until I change again my sample sizes. You could also regulate the confidence level. That is very unlikely. 95% is like a standard confidence level. As I said already, in order to make this whole simulation work beautifully, you need to know a little more and you will find that here.